up everybody it's your boy Kai and today man we got some exciting news we got some good things coming at you guys on this video listen I know a lot of people hear me talk about business credit a lot but they don't really like I don't really give the hacks to business credit or explain it a little bit more and the reason why I don't explain it a lot is because mostly people go through my content my my TikTok my Facebook short short video platforms basically YouTube is probably the only uh, long video platform that people actually come on that I can watch but majority of you people uh, go on my TikToks and Facebook and you guys watch a video of a credit hack or a rich secret and you guys don't fully understand a lot of it because I have to bottle all that up into like a one minute video or you know, uh, maybe a three minute video a minute and 30 I mean, uh, yeah, a minute and 30 second video, it doesn't matter, right? That's not enough time span to really break some of the stuff down that I'm trying to give you guys. Some people get it. Some people understand it because of the simple fact that they've been watching the credit game for a good little minute. They've been watching business credit people for a good little minute. And what I said, just put everything together basically for them. That's what happened with that. They, they, they basically heard it from me and they put everything uh, together for them. But for the people that don't fully understand some of the methods that I give out and credit hacks and risk secrets, we're going to be going over all that in this video today. And by the way, this is going to be another uncut video. It's going to be a raw video. I'm not going to be editing it unless I have to. Like my last video uh, on, Magic of a, uh, on Magic of a LLC, I had to edit it because like I lost track of thought. I had a brain fart. Like I literally was just like, uh, so I had to edit it. So if I have one of those parts or one of those episodes inside this video, just forgive me. All right. But, uh, yeah, this is going to be a raw uncut video. The first thing I want to go ahead and hop on though, on this video, when it comes to credit hacks. Okay. And this is just strictly mainly business credit hacks. You can use some of these as personal, uh, as personal methods and they still work, but majority of them is, uh, uh, going to be business credit hacks. Okay, so My number one thing I want to talk about first is What the rich do with their money, right? What do the rich do with the money and when you really look into what the top five percent Rich people do with their money. You see that they're not Gaining they're not they're not you know, how can I make this make sense? They're not going out and chasing and earning money, right? They're not earning money at all to be able to invest in any of these business ventures that they're trying to do. What they're actually doing is they're developing credit and then they're using that credit to then go get leverage. They use that leverage to then go invest on something that can return. All right. They can have a good ROI. And what that does is that brings them income. And then with that income, they pay a small portion off to the debt. I hope you guys are getting this. But this is going to be the biggest thing on going on 2022 right now because it's like it's going to be even harder and harder not to be able to use leverage to be able to expand as a business. Simply because the fact, and this is just my opinion, the dollar is decreasing by the day right the value of our dollar is decreasing by the day so if you're that person that's making and earning money and you earn 50 and you save thirty thousand dollars for the year to be able to invest into real estate of your own money right no telling how long it's going to take you to raise that thirty thousand dollars because you raised it yourself but you got thirty thousand dollars saved by the time you have that thirty thousand dollars saved that thirty thousand dollars is going to be decreased in value so much before when you started to actually start saving that 30,000, it's going to be crazy, right? So to be able to expand in whatever business you are trying to do in 2022 and going on, majority of these Fortune 500 companies are using debt. They are using leverage. The top five rich people out in this world are using debt to create income, all right? There's only a certain few that don't. Only a certain few, right? But one credit hack I want to go ahead and give you guys. I'm going to give you guys a few of them on here. And I've talked about some of them going down my TikTok. So if you guys don't fully understand. Now, you guys should fully understand in this video. 
y'all should fully understand it because I'm going to break it down in this video to where you can fully understand what I mean. All right. Let's just go ahead and start off with this. If you're a person that just started off with your business credit and you're just starting to build up. Right. And I'm pretty sure majority of the people that are on this YouTube, you guys have, should have already went through my content and start building your business credit for free. Like I give you guys all the methods to be able to start your business. I show you how to file an LLC. Uh, I show you how to build your business credit within 30 to 60 days. All right. I also have uh, a rich secrets, a ebook called rich secrets that has over 40 trade lines inside from your, uh, for your business uh, that starts you, takes you from start to finish all the way from tier one uh, business credit cards all the way to tier three, which are the bank credit cards. But uh, anyway, let's just say you're first starting off with your business credit and you're just now building it and you have the five net 30 accounts that we talk about and you also have two to four uh, gas cards, right? So you're building your way up. Now let's say that, then this is a method, I want you guys to pay attention. Let's say that you were trying to invest in Airbnb. This is something that I just specialize in. I do Airbnb, right? Let's just say you're a person that wanted to do Airbnb. And, well, you know what? You know what I'm about to give to use? I'm about to give to use exactly the term I just got done giving. The guy that, that saved $30,000, right? Let's, let's, let's take it up with the guy that saved $30,000 to be able to invest into whatever market he wanted to do. He wanted to do real estate, whatever he wanted, clothing line, doesn't matter. He wanted to invest in something, right? He saved that $30,000 in cash, right? What he's going to do is take that $30,000 in cash and he's going to invest into his business. Now, I'm not saying anybody business. I'm not wishing any bad on anybody business, right? But there's a certain, there's a high percentage of businesses that fail within their first year, okay? A high percentage of businesses that fail within their first year. So let's say this person takes this $30,000 and they go and invest into real estate. Their real estate doesn't go well. Let's just say they put a $30,000 down payment on one property, right? However, that $30,000, that property doesn't go well, right? They spent their own hard cash on that property and it probably took them however long to be able to build that, I mean, to save that. They spent it on this property and the return didn't come out how they thought it would be. What does that person do now? Is that person in a crutch situation to where he can gather up? I mean, is he in a nice situation to where he can gather up another $30,000 of his own money to use? Or is he in a situation that he now has to earn all that $30,000 back again, right? However long it took him and invest in that situation again or invest into uh, real estate again, something like that. Because I guarantee that person is either going to quit. This is what usually happens. That person is going to quit after the first time because they say, oh, man, this is this is nothing. This isn't right. You know what I mean? I, this industry is messed up. Or they're blaming on something, right? They're either going to do that or they're going to continue. They're going to save up another 30000 and they're going to get or they're going to go again. But if that person was to simply use this method, this method right here, and this is what I like to call forever money. How do you turn your money in forever money, right? So how do I have a certain amount of money? How do I have $5,000 and I keep that $5,000 forever? How do I have $30,000 and I keep that, I make sure I keep that $30,000 forever? And I'm not talking about saving the $35,000 by keeping it. No, 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 no. Not at all, not at all. I'm saying that if you had $30,000, if I was a person that had $30,000 inside the bank account and I knew I was saving this $30,000, so that means I'm not planning on, I'm not planning on, um, I'm not planning on spending this $30,000 at all, right? I'm not planning on spending this $30,000 at all. What I am going to do as an investor, right? If I'm planning on just investing this $30,000, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that $30,000. I'm going to go to a bank, a credit union, somebody that offers a secured business credit card. All right. Or maybe you want to get your personal up, but it's just very beneficial to get your business up. But so on this one, we're just going to use business. Go to somebody that has a business secured card. If I put that $30,000 or even half, 
Watch this, y'all. You know what? I, yeah, I'm getting good ideas just thinking on just going off the rip. All right. Even if I put half of that thirty thousand dollars, let's say I wanted, to, I didn't trust this method all the way, and I took fifteen thousand fifteen thousand dollars out of the thirty thousand. I put fifteen inside my bank account. I just keep it there because I want to make sure it's safe. All right. Uh, and then I have fifteen thousand dollars of technically investment money. Now, I put that fifteen thousand dollars on a secured credit card. Now, guess what, you guys? This is what we call forever money. That $15,000 is not only going to be reporting on your business credit. Now watch, we're gonna be going into multiple benefits on this now because you're gonna recognize when using your own hard cash, you usually have no benefit other than the purchase. No benefit other than the purchase. When I tell some people on Airbnbs, right? When I talk to people about Airbnbs and I tell them when you spend your whole cold, cold hard cash, you get nothing but the profits, right? And that's good, that's good at the end of the month. You're receiving $25 to $2,000 of profit every month, right? That's a benefit in itself. But what other benefits are you getting off your initial investment that you spent, right? And when you look at the other side of business credit and business, you're getting multiple benefits coming in. And I'm about here to show you exactly how. Now, let's go back to the $15,000. I put it on a secured credit card. Now, I'm about to get ready to go on this business venture again, right? Let's say this time I try a Airbnb. I try to go out and get a Airbnb. I have $15,000 on a secured credit card. That is now reporting to my business. So that's a benefit in itself. Let's say that I use this $15,000. Uh, let's say that I use $8,000 to furnish a two bedroom, uh, two bedroom condo on Airbnb, right? $8,000 I use out of this $15,000. Now, watch this. You have to recognize also, you guys, that you have to know your investment, know your numbers, all right? Know what you are investing in and know that it is going to be able to pay this credit off, all right? Not everybody's a rocket science genius, all right? Not everybody's a genius, but we have to be able to take risks ourselves too. So you're gonna have failures that come throughout. But the only thing that really matters is that you continue and learn and understand that that was a experience, not a failure, but an experience and keep on going on. So you got this $15,000 on a secured credit card. Your plan is to go get an Airbnb. Uh, you go out and you get this Airbnb. And the, let's just say the Airbnb is generating, like I said, you furnish the whole thing, you get everything done for $8,000. That Airbnb is generating at least $2,000 profit each month. Now, let's see what benefits we have coming in now. Now, of course, you have the $2,000 coming in a month. You spent $8,000, right? You spent $8,000 on getting the Airbnb fully ready, right? So that's money that you have used off your $15,000 car. Now, the Airbnb is generating $2,000 a month. You can choose how much you take off that profit. Now, you can be a person that say, hey, listen, I want to pay this $8,000 off a little bit quicker. I'll take $1,000 off my profit and pay it towards the revolving credit each month. Now you have $1,000 coming in of passive income to your bank account and you have $1,000 going towards the revolving credit. Now, here's where multiple benefits come in. Here's where the hat comes in at. Because after a while of you using this revolving business credit, right? After a while of you using this revolving business credit, let's say three to four to five months, if you wanna go out to that same bank that you got an unsecured credit card with, I mean, a, a a secured credit card with and you've been making those payments your Airbnb has been making those payments every month right you can literally go back up to them and say hey listen I want to double up my business is expanding this year and I want to be able to expand with it I want to be able to scale so nine times out of ten these banks are gonna be doubling up if they don't double up on what they what you put inside the account so if they don't give you literally a $15,000 unsecured credit card, then they're gonna give you something near that, all right? And understand that you didn't use any type of credit cards really or any type of long-term credit methods to be able to build your business credit. You simply had a certain amount and you can, it can be any amount, you guys. I use the term of 15,000, 30,000, but it can be any amount that you wanna use. It could be as low as 2,000, whatever they require you to put on that secured business credit card. But like I said, 
they're going to be able to double up after after three to five months of you literally going back to them and saying, hey, listen, my business is expanding. I want to be able to double up. That is two benefits going on with your initial investment of $8,000 already going on. On top of that, watch how this trip, trickle effect goes. And this is how people play inside of Airbnb, I mean, inside of real estate, period. Okay, uh, let's say that I, I now have that $15,000 of unsecured business credit, a business credit line. Well, if I'm that person that knew what to do with the first $15,000 I invested into the right Airbnb that paid itself back and paid the business credit off, but well, then guess what? Nine times out of 10, I know how to do that again. So now I have $15,000 of somebody else's money. Imagine where I'm gonna take that and do with that. Oh yeah, you best believe we're gonna keep on and keep on doubling up. We're gonna keep on doubling up because the simple fact that we're gonna keep on using leverage to create us income. And most people not even realizing <laughs> while we're speaking so much about leverage, you guys are so focused on the 15,000 and 30,000. I just got done saying that the person is saving. Did you even recognize the person, the income that the person is getting right now? If they're getting a thousand dollars a month off one property passively, literally, what? Literally after eight months, after eight months, they can literally decide to go off and get another Airbnb with cash if they want to. If they decide to say, hey, listen, I don't want to use credit for this one. I want to use my own cash. Uh, I just want to see how it goes. You'll be able to do that. But at the same time, you'll be able to do that using somebody else's leverage because somebody else's leverage still got you there to where you can make that passive income, you guys. Uh, so that is one. That is definitely one. Uh, I tell people a lot about that. That is something I heard about that was crazy, you guys. Like when I say that is a major risk secret, uh, you guys definitely need to like put that in you guys arsenal. OK, definitely put that in you guys arsenal when we're talking about business of uh, another another credit hack. You guys, another credit hack that a lot of people do not talk about. A lot of people do not talk about this. All right. And that is simply uh, building your business credit, right? Building your business credit within less than 30 days and building it on autopilot, okay? Building it on autopilot. Now, most people, when I say autopilot, a lot of people will say, hey, listen, Kai, what do you mean by autopilot? Everybody has to go in and, of course, pay their bills. Well, not really. There are some people that have personal credit cards out here and personal business credit cards that have reoccurring payments like Netflix, right? Some people literally have, all right, let's say if I just, wanted to help my credit, my personal credit out or my business credit. I decided to go out and get a $300 credit limit. This is all they gave me, just a $300 credit limit for business and personal. Well, if I'm that person that knows I don't want to spend this $300 at all on any of my personal or business expenses, I just want this to be able to report on my credit as good. Some people, what they'll do is they'll get reoccurring payments like Hulu, Netflix, payments that constantly come out every month all right, the takeout from that credit card and that reports as them taking off something like 10%, them, them only using 10% utiliz utilization for their credit cards, right? Because they have that reoccurring small payment coming out. That's going to be the same thing we're going to be really doing when it comes to building your business credit on autopilot because you're going to notice that we're going to have a lot of companies. Well, I'm not going to give a lot of companies, you guys. I'm going to give three companies out that I know for a fact uh, that you can go with a reoccurring payment that goes on autopilot, okay? Now, those three companies that you're gonna be able to get, and this is gonna be right when you start your LLC, like I said, for you people that watch my videos, start your LLC. Once you start your LLC, get that Dunn's number, and then get those five trade lines, I mean, get those five net 30 accounts, and then move up to the tier two, all right? but. For those people that just started their LLC and then you just got your Don's number and you're that person that says, hey, listen, I don't want to go out and go to Crown Off Supplies and apply for them and then go to Uline, apply for them and then go to here and apply for them. All these goddamn applications, right? 
You don't want to do that. All right. This is what this method is for to put your business credit on autopilot. You simply connect these uh, these apps to your or, or websites to your bank account and they take out a certain amount each month. But the thing is, on your business credit side, they're going to be reporting a higher trader, uh, a higher trade limit. OK, they're going to be reporting something like a well, this is going to go over. OK, so the first company I want to go ahead and talk about, OK, is Global Voice Direct. Global Voice Direct. Global Voice Direct is simply a landline company. Everybody needs the extension. Everybody needs a business line when they uh, start their business. And that is something that's actually got to be on your business profile for you get approval for most things. And uh, what they do is they offer a plan, which is $24 a month. And when you get that plan for $24 a month, they report up to 75, excuse me, I'm not going to say up to, they report $7,500 of trade line on your business credit. So you let them take that uh, $24 a month and they report that 75. That is definitely great. Uh, and this is going to be first when your business is starting off. The next thing is eCredibles. What eCredibles is going to do is they're going to take up all your business expenses. So let's say that I have a building and I have electricity and I have expenses that I have go on every week. What eCredibles is going to do is they're going to take those expenses that you purchase every week and they're going to take all those items and literally put it on your business credit as those are business expenses that you are paying every month. And it's going to report those. Hmm. Next one is going to be NAV. NAV, everybody knows about NAV pretty much now that has been on my channel for a while. But NAV is definitely great. What you do is you go on there, you pay their uh, business boost program, which is going to be $50 a month. You pay that. And if you're that person, like I said, that doesn't want to pay that five trade lines, they literally report all five trade lines for you. All right. So within the first month of you making your payment, they report, they report all five trade lines on your business credit. Now, literally, you connect all these accounts and you literally watch your business credit grow. All right. You literally watch it grow on autopilot because you're seeing them take out your business account. Now, of course, it gets higher when you want to get on to uh, uh, business bank cards, credit cards and et cetera. Right. But this is just to build your business strong to be out, be able to go out and get that uh, that loan on this on this uh, property that you want to be able to get on your I mean, from your LLC in real estate. OK. Or be uh, to be able to go out and get that Mercedes Benz with zero down in your business name. This is being able to build your business credit strong. All right. Build it strong, y'all. That's what we'll be doing. Uh, and we're going off the flow right now, y'all. So I got to think. I want to give I want to give another one, y'all. I want to give another one because I got so much in, on my mind right now, but I'm going off the flow. But what we've been over so far, y'all, is very good. Like what we went over is right now is very good. Uh, what we just got done going over. But the whole big picture of this whole thing, you guys, is we are never going to be able to expand in 2022 and going on as much as you want to be able to expand as a business without using leverage. There's a lot of people out here that try to tell you like using debt is bad. Yes, using debt is bad if you use debt in a bad way. Of course, it can. Debt can be bad, you guys. OK, debt can be bad. Somebody can literally have all the credit cards in the world, but use those credit cards for all the stupidest things. Right. And not they're not using those credit cards to be able to make money. They're using those credit cards to be able to spend money. And what most people got to learn in this world really is to how to be more of a creator and not a consumer. Right. You focus more on being a creator. You won't be as much of a consumer and you won't be going out spending this much. All right. Uh, but that's the whole thing. Let's conclude this video, you guys. Uh, that's the only thing I could think of right now going off the top of my head. I'm going to be coming out with a lot of videos this month, y'all. A lot of videos this month to be able to help you guys out with business credit, Airbnb, financially, mentally. Y'all, we going on all this year. It's your boy, Kai Gibson, and we out. I'll see y'all next time.